Mountain View. 10 4, we're going to come up on Mountain View in about one minute. I already got PC on it. Five seven, it's getting to uh, Mountain View branch right now. Yeah, be careful, the driver looks like he's reaching down for something. No se muevan! ¡Te muevas! Hasta la vuelta. They're all running. She can see the driver up ahead picking up his pants. <clears throat> the other six kind of, then they all scattered. So with the weather the way it is, it's going to be hard for them to, yeah. Yeah, he just walked up from the brush. Over the past two years since Biden, the Biden administration took over, we have seen a huge, huge influx of uh, illegal immigration through our county. It's an all-out invasion. Kinney County seems to be the tip of the spear in really trying to uh, secure the border. I feel like we've ramped up the intimidation a lot by chasing these people like NASCAR drivers. It's not normal. People who live out here who are constantly faced with all this foot traffic, the high speed chases, people driving through their fences, our peace of mind is shot. <laughs> it's pretty tough. <laughs> We should have to live like this. Well, Kenny County is the 27th largest in the state, but we have 16 miles of river area, which is probably one of the smallest in the state, but we're still a border county. Kenny County lies between Valverde County and San Antonio. Anything that leaves Valverde trying to get to San Antonio has to come through here. And with the checkpoints in, in Del Rio, uh, the Uvalde area, and Eagle Pass area, a lot of that illegal traffic gets funneled up here through six highways that lead directly from the border. I'm trying to raise a family and children that can run and play in this large backyard that we're so lucky to have. And I can't do that anymore because who knows when the next illegal is going to be hiding behind the bush, ready to ambush my wife and kids when they're walking to the car. I can't tell you how many times that's happened in the last couple years. We've had one of the ranch houses broken into twice in the last week. If you had groups of 5, 10, 15 men from a foreign country coming through, breaking your fence down, every day, hiding in your backyard or in your shed or breaking into your house to evade law enforcement, to evade getting arrested. That's what we're dealing with every single day out here. I feel bad for about half the people that come through here that get caught. You talk to them and you hear their stories and you realize how blessed we are to be born and raised here in a country that people are literally dying trying to get to. The people who are here for good reasons, the people who are just here to work, we need to make it easier for them and we need to make it harder on the criminals. But without a doubt, all of these people are actively trying to evade getting arrested. They're trying to evade getting caught by any kind of law enforcement. So yeah, I think Kenny County is doing what I would do if I was in charge of trying to do anything I could to protect my citizens, to protect my local residents. Yeah, to protect my family and my property and any of that kind of stuff. We're just waiting on BP, buddy. Uh, uh, that one I just called in to Lynn, uh, yeah. to Liz, it, it was loaded. It was loaded too? Yeah, because she just, the uh, dispatch just said BP was notified. Okay. So, and it was right, right, it was bouncing like it was heavy. And yeah. Was we were seeing an increase in people walking through the ranch. They were seeing more people, water lines being broken, fences being cut. 
myself and the county attorney got together. We figured, what are we going to do? Uh, he wrote up a declaration of uh, disaster. So, well, if we can catch them on your property, I will file charges on them for criminal trespass. And it just kind of spiraled from there. ¿Y de dónde eres? ¿Dónde es eso? México. El muchacho que los iba manejando los amenazó de una manera. Sí, ¿qué les dijo? For a crime, there has to be consequences. And charging with, with criminal trespass, hopefully, is a deterrent to keep them out of Kennedy County. Because if we just catch them and turn them over to the board before there's no consequences, they're just being kicked back across to their homeland. It's, it's hard to see stuff like that when you see families. What was the reason for the stop? Uh, he, was, he went off the roadway. We don't have the driver because he went. Yeah, he, he went. We're going to try to look for him here in a little bit. Y'all don't have a brush crew out right now? Uh, we might when we get a call. Okay. I think I have yeah, because I think the last location she got, they were hunkered down just right in there. So we're going to try to go in there, but if we get professionals. <laughs> yeah. That is my job. Uh, I might have one more, so I'll, be, I'll let them know. All right, thank you. Entonces, creo que Estados Unidos, o lo diré públicamente, no es lo que dice ser, definitivamente que no. Pero nuestros derechos como humanos no se los defienden. Desde que entrada fue como despojo de nuestra línea humana. Específicamente los oficiales siempre nos agredían, nos eh, despojaron de esa ropa eh, sin explicación alguna. Eh, pusieron un traductor, no funcionó porque había mala señal. Eh, luego pasó una persona antes que mí y se le obligó a firmar una una firma de, de decir que era indigente porque tenía capacidad para, para un abogado. Entonces yo escuché que él también se le había acusado de invasión a propiedad privada con un delito menor, categoría B, y que tenía, según las leyes del Estado, de tres meses hasta un año, con una fianza mínima de cinco mil dólares. Y luego procedí yo y pasó de la misma forma. Entonces me dijo que si tenía dinero para pagar un abogado, le dije que no. It's impossible not to step on private land here. It's a trap, <laughs> like prosecution, and it's not necessary. It does not mean that someone's violent. It just means that they stepped on land. What we're seeing on the border is a range of civil and human rights abuses. So we have had um, DPS officers be documented as, you know, telling immigrants to come onto a certain property so that they can then charge them with trespassing. We've heard of ranchers sending dogs to go and chase down immigrants. We've heard reports from immigrants inside the Texas prisons themselves who have been kept inside for three months without sunlight, without access to an attorney, um, without access to, to good quality nutrition or food. Maybe what the sheriffs think I don't understand, but I think we do have significant overlap. We're critical of our leaders on the federal level who are not addressing this properly. People aren't able to get in through ports of entry because of Title 42, and so they're entering illegally, and those are all the people who are attacking, invading our country, are those people who <laughs> would make legal attempts at entry, but physically, legally are not able to. You want me to just open the, and say, hey, free pass through Kinney County? Send me your address and I'll send them your way let you take care of them. Just because my backyard's bigger and happens to be on the border, doesn't mean that I want them here. Now remember, I'm talking about illegal aliens. I'm not talking about immigrants. Don't edit this where it makes it look like I'm against an immigrant. I'm not. We're all immigrants. I think that the longer that we go without a real solution from the federal government or the state government, it's going to lead to more reckless uh, action from, from actors like Brad Coe because he's turned his sheriff role into a sort of border patrol role. I'm not a monster. I'm not trying to, to push everybody, go home, get killed in your home country, no. 
let's do this the legal way. Probably some of our immigration laws do need to change, make legal immigration flow a little smoother, because uh, sometimes people have to wait years. Everyone has wanted immigration reform. Everyone understands it doesn't work. So why haven't we begun <laughs> to create something that does work? It's not about politics. I do know that both sides of the aisle has had decades to get something right, and it hadn't happened yet. So I, I don't care who does something about it. Somebody's just got to do something.